Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, April 10th, 2018 edition of the Sands of the Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I am recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Red Team Pentesting released details regarding a vulnerability in the CyberArk password vault. And well, with the release, they also included a proof of concept exploit. CyberArk is written in .NET and in order to authenticate to the CyberArk Vault web access, you do submit tokens which are serialized .NET objects. Now we all know it is notoriously difficult to properly deserialize these .NET objects. So this is where the unauthenticated remote code execution comes in. Now as part of proof of concept, I don't believe they actually did release the program they wrote in order to create these malicious tokens, but they did include a malicious token base64 encoded. If you decode it, you can pretty easily spot the ping command that they're using here as part of their proof of concept. So probably not all that difficult for someone to then replace this with another system command. If you can, one option you have is just to disable access to the vulnerable API function. But of course, if you take advantage of this, then the only option you have is to upgrade. And if you wonder about the patch, the patch was released actually end of February. So Red Team pen testing was nice enough to give us about a month to patch. And remember, a couple weeks ago, Cloudflare announced that they are getting into the recursive DNS resolver business by setting up 1.1.1.1 as an open resolver. One of the features that Cloudflare enabled was DNS over TLS. Now, this feature hasn't really gotten a lot of followers yet in part because not a lot of servers support it, but it does really address a very interesting part and gap in your privacy and that's DNS. To promote this feature, Cloudflare now released a blog post with details on how to enable this feature using the Unbound DNS Resolver. This is important because Unbound is very often used in routers that are based on Linux. So if you have an OpenWRT router, then you likely run Unbound on that router. However, from a privacy point of view, now of course Cloudflare becomes your bottleneck and they theoretically are able to collect all of your DNS queries. They of course say they don't do that, so it really depends on who you trust more, your ISP or Cloudflare. Now, the other very popular DNS recursor, DNS Mask, does not yet support DNS over TLS. So if your router uses DNS Mask, then you have to switch over to Unbound or another resolver. Now, then just a correction about yesterday's podcast. I mentioned that these attacks against Cisco switches were due to the recent vulnerability. That's actually not true. It's really more the fact that Smart Installed was enabled at all. So it was really just a misuse of that tool versus a vulnerability in it. Cisco actually released a tool to help you turn off this particular feature, and I'll link to this tool in the show notes. And exploits taking advantage of CVE 2018-4878. This is a vulnerability in Adobe Flash that was patched in February, start to show up more and more in malware. Apparently, this is at least partially to blame on ThreatKit. Now, ThreatKit is software that you can use to assemble your own malware and it recently included this exploit. Typically this malware would arrive as an office document that then has the flash document embedded. To be vulnerable, of course, you would still need to have flash installed and you would not have patched your system since February. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.